सोनोमीटर लॉ ऑफ लेंथ तो फॉर्मूले वी हाउ टू वेरीफाई लॉ ऑफ लेंथ दैट इज एन इज इनवर्सली प्रपोन्शन टू लेंथ दैट इज एन एल कॉन्स्टेंट द ऑब्जर्वेशन टेबल फॉर द सेम इज हियर ऑलरेडी वी टूक रीडिंग वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन द एक्सपेरिमेंटल पार्ट हाउ एक्चुअली इट परफॉर्म्ड नाउ इन दिस केस डायरेक्टली यू कैन टेक टेंशन अप्लाई टू द वायर टू थाउजेंड ग्राम विट नो नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय नाइन एटी बिकॉज वील नॉट रिक्वायर दिस एनी वेर इन कैलकुलेशन पार्ट सो दिस इज अवर सोनोमीटर एंड वी आर अप्लाइड टेंशन इज इक्वल टू टू थाउजेंड ग्राम वेट हियर द वेट ऑफ वन ब्लॉक इज फाइव हंड्रेड सो टोटल टेंशन इज टू थाउजेंड ग्राम वेट नाउ देर आर फाइव ट्यूनिंग फोर्स एंड वन इज अनोन ट्यूनिंग फोर the frequency on this tuning fork mention over it is 512 480 341 and so on and this is our unknown tuning fork frequency of unknown tuning fork arrange this tuning fork in decreasing order of frequencies here also i wrote the frequencies in decreasing order because as frequency decreases length increases for experimental part what we'll do keep these two metal edges close to each other and piece of paper that we called as a paper rider take first tuning fork of highest frequency that is 512 now we'll hammer tuning fork on rubber pad and we'll adjust the distance between these two metal edges and we'll keep tuning fork on metal edges if you see something like this go on adjusting the distance till paper rider falls when you are adjusting the distance always keep paper rider at the center increase the distance by small amount keep paper rider always at the center now see at this distance paper rider falls because the frequency of tuning fork and the vibrating length of this wire frequency matches and the wire starts vibrating because of this paper rider falls note down the distance between these two metal edges from here to here what your distance you will get you will write this distance in our column that is 512 this one now what we will do for second set of reading what we will do for same tuning fork we will take two set of reading you will slightly decrease this distance right thoda sa isko andar kar lene ka again same thing for same tuning fork usi tuning fork se we will take two set of reading now at this point again paper rider falls note down this distance again with the help of scale what your distance you will get this distance from metal is here यहाँ से लेके दिस मेटल इज टू दिस दिस डिस्टेंस यू विल राइट इन दिस कॉलम देन फाइंड द मीन ऑफ दिस टू यू विल राइट हियर इन गो फॉर नेक्स्ट ट्यूनिंग फोर्क एज फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ट्यूनिंग फोर डिक्रीजेस लेंथ विल इंक्रीज नाउ वी आर टेकिंग इन द सेम मैनर सेकेंड ट्यूनिंग फोर्क ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी फोर एटी हर्ट्स एंड प्रोसीजर रिमेन्स द सेम एज फ्रीक्वेंसी डिक्रीज लेंथ विल इंक्रीज सो कंटिन्यूसली इंक्रीज द लेंथ till paper rider falls you can see students we are keeping in continuity yes at this distance paper rider falls so again we will note down the distance from this metal edge to this metal edge With the help of what we called as a scale, ये जो भी distance आएगा, this distance you will write in here. Again, for this also we'll take two set of reading. What we'll do in this case for two set of reading, slightly disturb this. ना थोड़ा सा अंदर ले लेने का. Again we'll keep paper rider, and for same tuning fork you will take one more set of reading. This is how you will continue.
we are taking second set of reading for same tuning for 4 pi 480 you can make out now vibrate ho hai paper rider yes again we will note down the distance with the help of scale right students then this distance what here you will get from here you will write yahan pe likhoge aur ye dono ka mean leke yahan pe then next tuning for then next tuning for and finally you will take unknown tuning for for unknown tuning fork what you will do for unknown tuning fork you will start again from the beginning because we don't know the actual value of unknown frequency and we will continue in the same manner once you complete the reading for all frequencies unknown frequencies we will do the calculation for 1 by l calculation for nl the graph of 1 by l versus frequency 1 by l versus frequency we will get a straight line passing through the origin since we are getting a graph of straight line passing through origin our log gets verified frequency 1 by l and frequency they are inversely proportional to find the unknown frequency by graph what you will do is ka unknown frequency ka jo 1 by l hai, unknown frequency ka 1 by l hai, from here we'll draw the straight line and from here we'll draw the straight line whatever value we'll get here that is unknown frequency by graph for calculation unknown frequency get the value of mean nl ye sab ka mean nikaloge this mean nl dividing by length of unknown frequency you will get unknown frequency by calculation thank you student